time guys day 84 I can finally say this the cut has ended yes I can say it the cut has ended today 84 days in I'm so freaking stoked this is over and this has to be the lowest way in this entire cut and it freaking is. Here we go, guys. I reached my biggest goal this entire car. 90.5 kilograms. My biggest goal I've achieved. The first goal I've set, I want to hit 90 kilograms and even lower. 90.5 kilograms this morning. And I know for a fact I'm going to get even lower. So 90 kilograms, that means I've dropped almost 15 kilograms in total I've dropped 14.2 kilograms and I just look like a totally different person so here's quickly my physique update 84 days and guys I can say it this is my most or my second most successful or shredded cut I will say this is my most successful cut the way I feel but I'm nowhere near as shredded as I was in 2016 because yeah in 2016 I was 81 kilograms or something and I was shredded to the bone and you can see my belly you can see my abs and you can see my legs were shredded to the bone I was 81 80 ish kilograms even below 80 kilograms I was and that was my most successful cut but I felt like I had no energy, I was a zombie, so I will say this is my most successful cut because you can see my mood is there, I'm lean, I'm happy, and that means the world to me. Now, guys, the upper body is just lean. I will say I could compete right now. You can see the obliques are like sharp. All the lines are showing. Here we go. Yeah, lines are showing, and the best part, the rib cage is coming through. The side abs is showing more. The biceps. This is the leanest I've been this in cut. This entire cut. Just look at it. Oh yeah. The biceps shredded abs right there. Here's quickly the back. Yeah, I am flat right now. I slept for almost 10 hours. So I am flat. This is the leanest I will be. But this is not like the hardest I look. So yeah, let's prep. Oh yeah, let's see the love handle right now. Here we go. I do notice it's still like somewhat thick, so I have a lot to lose still, guys. So yeah, the love handle getting thinner, the lower back as well, I can pinch it. The belly fat disappearing slowly. You can see it, like I don't need to say anything. Yeah, it is getting thinner. Paper thin. But here is the part that I talked about many times and people still don't believe me. And that's also the biggest reason why I am weighing it this heavy. Yes, my upper body is lean. But look at my legs. They are nowhere lean. They are nowhere as lean as they were in 2016. You can't see lines. It's like soft. It's not even hard. Yes, my legs are big, but they are, they are not divine. And as you can see, my legs are really massive. And yeah, that is the reason why I'm weighing in this heavy. And maybe a reason why I will drop a lot more weight the coming week. Even though I ended my cut. Or not completely. Here's why. But first I gotta get my health in. I'm gonna start with my apple cider vinegar. One shot. Big glass of water. And here we go, just chug it. Every single morning. It is just a routine. So I'm not gonna do my greens powder today because I will have vegetables. This one I mean. I will only use it on lower carb days. And as well. Oh yeah. 
just so amazing. To show you the time, 10, 13, 2nd of June. It's Sunday today and just let's quickly talk about my diet. So like I said, my diet ended and yes, it's true, it ended in one way, but as well, it's not completely finished at this point because now I'm starting my reverse diet. And while I do the reverse diet, I will still drop weight, still drop fat. So basically my cut has not ended yet, but the worst days are over. And with worst session, I mean the cardio. Yesterday was my last one hour cardio session and I'm dropping my cardio from one hour to 45 minutes. And that will be for this week the only thing. I'm still gonna continue carb cycling, have low carb days and higher carb days, but I might increase my carbs during the weekend. So I will still drop weight, still be in a deficit, which means I will still drop weight because I gotta get up to my maintenance slowly and I just don't wanna quit now and eat like 3000 calories. I will gain like this that is the rebound that people talk about after competitions because your body is so used to cardio low calorie being in a big deficit and you're just gonna slowly increase or decrease the cardio and food the same as you've done with your cup you decreasing your food you now you're just gonna reverse everything till you get up to your main that is the game plan and today is Sunday <sighs> which means it's a carb load. I'm having more carbs today. I'm gonna increase my carbs today to 300. I had like 200, 250 yesterday, and I'm gonna increase it today. So last weekend I had that insane, crazy refeed with like 1,000 grams, 2,000 grams of carbs. This weekend I'm gonna keep it low key and have just 300 grams of carbs, which is a lot for me, because doing low carbs, almost no carbs, 300 is a lot. So the following macros will be on the screen right now. I just made those numbers up, but I just wanted to have 300 grams of carbs. I'm gonna play around with the fat. It will be still below 2,500 calories, which is like not high. If you have like 1,600 calorie days, 1,800 calories day, 2,500 is not even a lot. Just so you know, the cut is going amazing, and I'm so satisfied. And I'm in the kitchen, almost done with my coffee, already preparing my breakfast now gone so before i show you my total breakfast i do want to insert a clip right now of me reviewing a dutch sauce company so guys last weekend or yesterday i got this package in the mail right here from an awesome small dutch company they reached out to me or first i reached out to them and they sent me a care package so now i'm just gonna quickly give you a review on this this is gonna be a quick review. I'm gonna do it in English because most Dutch people know English. So I've got this package at home. And just to show you before I unpack it, here is my fridge. And look at these things. These are all sauces. Mustard, honey mustard, chili mustard, sriracha, mayonnaise, miracle whip, hot chili sauce, reduced sugar ketchup, barbecue sauce, sweet chili, Caesar salad. And now I got this package. Ah, op for it. Ah, the food. Ah. So yeah guys, you can see I'm a real sauce bar. I use these sauces on a daily to flavor my foods and just to make dieting easier and more fun. You want to eat flavored food. The Dutch company that I saw on Instagram called, let's see, right here. The Lean. The Lean company and they send me a awesome care package right here. Which consists of some epic stuff. Ah, right here. Epic sauces. So the first one is a curry on, which is a curry flavor. The second one is a good car garlic, garlic sauce, a mayonnaise, and here I have a holy grill barbecue sauce. <laughs> I'm really loving the company, really loving the style, really loving the packaging and the name. That's why I reached out to them and it looks just so epic, looks so professional and I'm loving it. First and foremost, I gotta say thank you to the Lean Company for even sending me a DM and for now sending me these stuff. Thank you so much and guys, if you have the time, go and follow them on Instagram at the lean oh, yeah guys i already tried a couple of these the garlic sauce i tried and the mayonnaise these two i have not tried yet the barbecue sauce and the curry on so i'm gonna give you a review on that and as well as these ones but i will say this right now this can change your diet up this can change your life i love my sauces i can't diet without sauces yeah i use a lot of sauces 
but I'm still lean, getting lean, drier by the day. So it is working, right? This is the mayonnaise flavor. And the crazy thing is, it's three calories per serving. These sauces have an average under like two, three grams of carbs, which is just totally insane. So here we go. I'm just going to do it on my finger and... Yeah, the sauce is firm. It's not dripping. It's not like a really loose sauce mm. This is the mayonnaise flavor like I've tried this yesterday This is for real so tasty and you would not believe this is like a low calorie sauce a mayonnaise I'm giving this like a seven and a half out of a ten. I tried this yesterday and I had quite a bit of it It is a really good flavor but there is like some kind of aftertaste. With every mayonnaise, when you eat a lot of it, it gets like an aftertaste. But the flavor on this is amazing. Seven and a half out of a ten for this one. Garlic sauce, I'm gonna do it last because, like you can see, half of the top is already gone and I had this yesterday. So now I wanna try out the curry on. Again, curry on, two calories. This has less calories than the last one. I'm sorry if, if I just do it on my finger. A lot of the sauce. Here we go. You can see it's not too loose. It it's like it holds its shape. Curry on. Mm. Oh. What I do notice, and it's with every sauce, especially like mustard or ketchup or anything. It is kind of salty, but that is what the flavor basically is. The salt really intense or multiplies the flavor. Just imagining this has no fat and only 1.4 grams of carbs per 100 milliliters. The flavor is amazing, the same as the mayonnaise, I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of a 10, because I already tasted this one. Yeah, 7.5 is still like a really good rating for the flavor. Now let's try out the Holy Grill, the Holy Grill barbecue sauce. I love barbecue sauce, I love smoky stuff, and I hope this will taste like the normal barbecue sauce right here. So this is a normal barbecue sauce, this is the lean barbecue sauce to give you a comparison on the macros 30 grams of sugar and the lean sauce has only one gram of carb per 100 milliliters here we go again on the finger let's oh that's a lot that's a lot I've noticed you got to be careful with squeezing it out because there comes out a lot of the sauce let's try it out mm. <laughs> wow straight away you get the barbecue sauce the smokiness whoa <laughs> And I gotta do this, I gotta compare it to normal barbecue sauce a little bit. Oh, wow. After tasting this, going to this, you can notice the sugars. This is really sugary. Yeah, you can notice. This, this is more salty than sugary, but the smokiness is exactly the same. Smoky taste, smoky taste, somewhat saltier, somewhat sweeter. Depends on what you love. Depends on how you want to spend your macros. I would rather eat this because I eat barbecue sauce for the smokiness. It is really delicious. The flavor is just the same, exactly the same. Just the switch in between salty and sweet. I love my barbecue sauce. And every time I have a cheat day, I have my barbecue sauce. So I'm going to give this for a lean product. I got to give it a 10 out of a 10. These two are really great. So if I give this a 7.5, I got to give this a 10 out of a 10. I don't give 10 out of 10s really quick. But because I'm dieting and this will change my life, I'm going to give it a 10 out of a 10. And the next thing... I'm gonna tell you already, it is a 10 out of a 10. I'm already like one quarter through it. This is the good garlic sauce and this sauce is just amazing. Here we go. It is somewhat looser. You can see it's dripping more. So the other sauces are like more firm. Mmm. This is a flavor bomb. You know what? I'm gonna give the barbecue sauce a 9 out of a 10. And the garlic sauce, a 10 out of a 10. A 10 out of a 10. For all the Dutch people, alsjeblieft, ga en probeer deze sauce. Ik, ik zou niet liegen, maar deze is echt, echt goed. Getting interrupted by my dad. Oh yeah. But yeah, this is not a quick review. This is an extended review. But guys, 10 out of 10 for all the Dutch people. Ga bestel dit alsjeblieft. Geloof me als je aan het diëten bent, vooral nu in de zomer. Dit is geweldig. Dit, dit past echt op alles. Deze ook, als je kan, bestel ze, maar echt, deze is gewoon geweldig. So what I basically said to the Dutch people, if you have the time, if you have the money, go and buy this. It is amazing, like no joke. I'm not overreacting because I got this for free. 
or want to shout them out, no, this is for real amazing. So the garlic sauce is number one, 10 out of a 10, then the barbecue is really close, totally different flavors, but I like the flavors on this more. So 9 out of a 10 for the barbecue sauce, then I'm gonna go for the curry, number 3, and the mayonnaise, mm, it is good, but I think I like this mayonnaise more. But this has like 5 grams of fat per 100 grams, and this zero, so depends on what you want. But the mayonnaise is less, but no joke, all of these are more, more than average. So guys, go ahead, follow them on Instagram. If you want to get lean like I do, just eat these sauces. <laughs> the link to this Instagram page will be in the description. Go ahead, check them out. The products are just 10 out of 10. Nicole and Lean, thank you well. Now let's make my first meal of the day. I'm gonna have vegetables, courgette, mushrooms. I've got the bell pepper, onion, baking or frying up. I've got some spinach here and I will have seven egg whites. I've got everything on a plate and as well I cut up some turkey deli meat on top of there. And now I like to just top this everything off with the egg white spinach omelet. Also top that off with my low fat cheese. I'm just gonna do one tablespoon. This is like 25 grams. And now I gotta top it off with one of these sauces. I for real cannot live without sauces, especially on a cup. It, it makes my life so much easier. Now with these sauces, guys, here we go, barbecue sauce. Oh my God, first meal of the day, egg whites, vegetables. Yes, it is a higher carb day, but I'm hungry now. It is 11.18 and I kind of crave a really massive oatmeal bowl later on the day, so I only have 300 grams of carbs. Here are the calories and macros for this meal, only vegetables, but I do track it. I've got some protein, low fats, and I've got the sauces. Guys, this is gonna make my cut so much easier, even though I just ended it. I might even eat this when I bulk up. It's just simple, easy, and it's so flavorful. So here we go. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the garlic sauce. Again, 10 out of a 10. This is gonna be a good breakfast. Like I said, guys, I would not eat it this deep in a cup. Mm. Look how much I have on top of it. I'm a really big sauce man. I love sauces, and I can't diet without sauces. And I just don't track these things. It is so minimum that I really don't care. So now I'm just gonna enjoy this. Mm, good breakfast. Hell yeah. All right, this video gets pretty real at the end. So please don't comment if I'm doing great. At this point, I'm doing awesome. It was just a moment and I just wanted to share it. Sometimes I feel down and I just wanna be real with you all and show my life. So guys, so guys, I'm doing fine. It was just that I couldn't control my feelings and I felt pretty weak. That's why I showed you what I'm about to show you later on. Enjoy the video. Oh my God, this was just amazing. Mm. I just love vegetables, the sheer volume. And now with these sauces. Oh, that was satisfying. Oh yeah, <laughs> game. For days. So yeah, I will check in with you with my massive oatmeal bowl. Here we go, big oatmeal bowl. To be exact, 120 grams of oats. Add some water and just microwave it. And then just take it out. Gonna add 30 grams of whey protein. Just mix this in. So there we go, and with this, I really need some cacao. I do crave something chocolatey, so I'm gonna have 10 grams of cocoa powder. I'm gonna add some water, till it becomes like a paste. To this, I'm gonna add some sweet nut, and again, mix it around, and this is my healthy Nutella. I'm just gonna put the cacao on top, swirl it around. Guys, to cacao, you always gotta add some sea salt. And to make it complete, some blueberries. Here we go, this is my kind of meal. Let's enjoy. And I'm in the living room. Here we go, second meal of the day. I crave chocolate and I kind of wanted to cheat again today, but I just can't do it. Mm. Oatmeal, chocolate protein, chocolate cacao sludge on top. This will for sure satisfy me. Here are the calories and macros for this meal. 
pretty high in fat, but I just need it. I would rather eat this than go all out and just cheat. With some fruit, some blueberries, mmm. Hell yeah. And this will probably be my pre-workout meal as well because it's almost 1 o'clock. And I'm not gonna cheat today, guys, because next week I'm gonna visit a really good friend of mine. And that will be my first cheat day back in this review diet because I will get back on cheat days again. And next week, just stay tuned on the channel. It's gonna be an epic video. I'm gonna visit my good friend. We're gonna have an amazing day. And I will cheat and eat whatever I want. So now... I'm gonna keep it clean carbs, 120 grams of oats, 30 grams of whey protein, 10 grams of cocoa powder, and about 50 grams of blueberries. Really nothing to it. Okay guys, it is now 3.30, I'm listening to some music, rendering a video, and to show you everything I'm doing and having today, I'm first off gonna show you that I'm gonna have one pre-workout. Meaning one scoop. There we go, right there, one scoop. And also I will have two bananas. To really show you everything, one banana is gonna be before the gym and one banana is gonna be intra workout, like halfway through. So this I will calculate 180 grams. Two small bananas, like 90 grams each. Here are the calories and macros for this, just straight up carbs. And the pre-workout I'm not gonna count. So I will be home at like five o'clock in like two hours. And like that, I'm back home. It is now 6 o'clock. And guys, be sure to follow me on Instagram because I do post a lot. So here we go. I did do some deadlifts right here. So guys, please follow me on Instagram at DarkoBoonie to see the behind the scenes. So this was today's footage. I just did some deadlifts and yeah, right? <laughs> and I ate my banana in between the workout. <laughs> yeah, guys, be, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I show you my daily stuff. So yeah, I just got home from the gym and I did not cook my chicken. I have no chicken prepared, so what I'm gonna do, I've got this box of cereal right here. So I'm gonna take some of this unicorn fruit loops, cookie crisps, chocella, and I'm gonna grab some of this lion cereal. I'm gonna have a mix of cereal. So first fruit loops, 30 grams, chocella toast as well, 30 grams. And 40 grams of the lion cereal. Then I'm gonna take another bowl. In this bowl, I'm gonna do one scoop. 30 grams of protein. So yeah, I'm gonna have three different cereals. And with the cereal, I do wanna have some protein in. So I've got here one scoop of protein powder. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. And I'm just gonna make a sludge out of it. There we go, like so. Mix around the cereal. And I'm just gonna add a little bit on the sludge. And just enjoy it from the spoon, guys. Like, mmm. It is now... Exactly 6 o'clock. This will be my simple post-workout meal. Carbs, sugars, a little bit of protein, but mostly for the flavor. Mm. I did do some deadlifts today, and I felt pretty amazing. I had those two bananas, one scoop of protein, and the energy drink before. I had a lot of energy, so... Mm. Gonna enjoy this now. Dry cereal. When you diet down, and you have cereal, don't add milk. Just eat it dry because it satisfies you more and fills you up more. Pretty hungry. So I will see you with my next meal. Oh, by the way, here are the calories and macros for this meal. Straight up carbs, some protein. Get straight to the system. Oh yeah, fill it up, guys. Fill it up. Fill your muscles up. Mm-mm-mm. Carbs. Oh, mm. Mm mm, carbs have them right here. I love my carbs. Mm 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 mm. Alrighty, guys, I kind of want to be real for a second because I just had a moment which was not fun. So it is nine o'clock at night, like half an hour ago. I almost went and like went all out and binged. Like at one point, I was craving peanut butter, craving Reese's, craving Nutella, and I almost grabbed some food and ate everything but then i drank like one liter of water and it kind of satisfied me filled me up so i didn't binge but i had that binging moment i had that feeling of craving food and just going all out so yeah i just had to say it because it's not always pretty it's not always fun to do easy to do like low carbs guys i do want to say this don't do what i do don't do low don't do low carbs don't do head cardio because it will mentally affect you and that's what i want to say it mentally affects me and it's also because next week 
week I am gonna already plan a cheat day and I'm like thinking about it and that got me the feeling of binging because I'm already thinking about next week the cheat day I'm gonna have so it's kind of kind of dangerous to do low carbs cardio because yeah it will affect you guys I just had to say it so it is nine o'clock I'm not gonna have my chicken now I'm just gonna have something sweet I'm gonna keep it somewhat healthy again I'm gonna have my quark I'm gonna add these Lenny and Larry cookies because I just need something sweet and I'm gonna have three caramel rice cakes first off the whole container of quark flavor drops mix this in grab these Lenny and Larry cookies and just crumble it on top to the side I'm gonna have three caramel rice cakes and this will be it guys oh my god I need this so yeah, it is 9.04 at night. I really need something sweet, guys. That feeling was not fun, so I'm gonna have to... As you can see, this is not a lot of sweets. This is not sugary. I still crave it. But when I set a goal for myself, like the macros for today, I just need to hit it. Especially when I film for you all. I just want to show you that I can stay on track. And if I can do it, you can do it. So this will be my last meal of the day. Here are the calories and macros for this meal. High protein, carbs, sugars, chocolate, everything. Here are the total calories and macros for the whole day. And I'm still below my macro goal that I wanted to hit. Here we go. I'm just gonna pretend this is ice cream Cookies and cream ice cream <laughs> with the cookies the cookies are pretty damn good Mmm, let's try out the cookies first time trying it out And they are like really crunchy really hard Which will fill me up the macros are not the best only six grams of protein for the whole bag six cookies but you do get the chocolate taste, it's filling and this will satisfy me. So it's 9 o'clock at night, I just want to finish this and I can't wait for next week's cheat day. Guys, just stay tuned on the channel. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's going to be in a different country. Mmm, with an amazing friend and I'm looking forward to that. So I'm going to finish this. Almost binged, wow. So yeah guys, this will be the end of the day. Higher carbs, almost 300 grams of carbs. Clean carbs, at least sugary carbs. The sugar was around over 100 grams for the whole day. But I really don't care. Tomorrow is a new week. I'm lowering my cardio from one hour to 45 minutes. The diet is gonna be the same. I'm gonna do carb cycling, but in the weekends, I'm just gonna have more, more carbs or just even cheat days. So during the week, I'm gonna keep it low carb because I work and I can easily have low carbs when I work because I'm busy. So guys, I'm gonna end the video right here. <sighs> All right, guys. Uh, first off, I'm sorry. Second off, I put a hoodie on because I feel like shit. I feel like shit because I preach to you that I'm strong. I'm not the person that will binge. I can keep going. Not even half an hour after I said that, I kind of went all in. And I, yeah. <laughs> I ate like six bowls of cereal. I ate like at least two maybe three four thousand calories worth of cereal i craved sweets so much that i just could not hold back and i just i don't know what 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 happened with me but i just i just kept going i had the first bowl i had the quark i ate the quark added some cereal and then and it just happened out of the blue out of the no out of nothing it happened i just added more cereal then i ran out of the quark i ate cereal dry Went downstairs, I went and grabbed protein, milk, and I added that, and I ate way more. more. I feel like shit. And I gotta say, sorry, first I motivate you to not binge, to keep going, but then second off, I binge myself, so... I'm not gonna lie, I, I could leave this out. I feel like shit. I binge. This is the first time in 90 days right now, 84 days, that I binge, that I cheated. Luckily only with cereal, no chocolate, I didn't go for that. Luckily I, I also drank like one liter of water again. But I can eat guys, I can eat and when I eat I can't stop. Like I ate 3000, at least 3000 calories of cereal. Like five, six, almost two boxes of cereal I almost ate. 
and I just feel like shit. Not because I don't I don't feel like shit. Physically, I just feel like shit that I first motivate you not to binge and then I binge myself. So, I feel weak. That is the word I need to say. And yeah, I'm showing you this because I just want to be real. I want to show you everything. Low carbs is not fun. It's not healthy. I'm going to next week slowly get up and I can't wait to get back to maintenance. It is not fun, guys. If you get really deep in your car it is really a mental thing and you you will really struggle so yeah i will show you my physique i ate at least two boxes of cereal and i feel full i know i don't i won't look bad i can see it already i look hard but for me i feel this bad because i just cheated on myself first i say i don't want to do it till next week but then i cheat so yeah this is how i look at night with almost 3,000 calories worth of cereal. Yeah, ah, I for sure filled up today. I had a lot of carbs before this, like 300 grams, and now at least 1,000 grams of carbs. So you can see my belly is full. Six, seven bowls of cereal. You can see I'm bloated. Right there, the turtle belly. I'm sweaty because my heart rate is just up. My nipples are getting hard. Because of the cereal, look at the veins, biceps are for sure hard, Ugh. <laughs> right there, I'm sweaty, here we go, I properly filled up, <laughs> now that I look at the footage, it's not bad because I only had cereal, the chest right there, but I just feel bad because I cheated, that is for me the worst part, I cheated on myself, first I say I don't want to do it, look at the arms, the veins, <laughs> I do feel good. I mean, I'm not sick of the food. <laughs> I'm sweaty as hell. The nipples are getting hard. I'm sweaty as hell. I just feel sick of what I've done. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. The sugars are real. Guys, I cheated. Yes, I can't do anything about it. Next week, low carb, carb cycling. Hopefully, I will get back soon. And I just wanted to share this. Yeah, it happens to everyone. It happened right now to me. First time this cup. Am I happy with it? No. Shit happens. So, yeah. I've done it. Let's get back to the video and just end it. Alright, guys. It is the next day after the binge. And I just want to say this, that I'm a, I'm a really strong guy when it comes to doing what I love, but sometimes I just break down <laughs> and I can't do anything about it. The mental health is like a really big thing, so it's not about benching, it's about everything. Sometimes you just break down and you can't do anything about it. <laughs> not everything is perfect, guys. I feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> like a crybaby. But really, guys, mental health is a big thing. And when you can't, like, control your emotions, it's, it's, it's not fun. It is not fun. There was way more than just the benching my life but I will talk about it one day I'm like a girl a small little girl princess yeah funny I weighed in at 92.2 kilograms so I gained only like one and a half kilograms not even so yeah it is not that bad happy with that I filled up I looked hard but it is just the fact that I couldn't control my emotions and that is what bothers me the most I'm not sure if I will show this in the video <laughs> me crying but yeah it's not fun and yeah guys enjoy your life do whatever you like in life <coughs> fuck everyone fuck everything peace out I'm out I gotta work eight hours do my cardio later on lose the water oh yeah let's go